Hello. Um, first of all, uh, we want uh, uh, to describe to you somewhat uh, weird situation uh, with uh, collective uh, management of uh, in, uh, intellectual property rights uh, uh, in Ukraine, which is uh, uh, in place uh, for quite a long time now. Uh, first of all, the uh, mm, system of uh, uh, management of intellectual property uh, rights in Ukraine is established uh, uh, by law of Ukraine on, uh, on copyright and uh, uh, related rights. Uh, uh, actually, this, word, uh, this uh, law uh, it uh, uh, says that. Uh, 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 collective management uh, organizations uh, are uh, non-profit organizations uh, that uh, uh, manage uh, uh, rights uh, of uh, uh, copyright and related rights um, uh, on collective by basis. And uh, these organizations, uh, uh, they uh, shall be set by, uh, up uh, by copyright or related uh, right uh, holders. Uh, um, so, uh, at the time, uh, there is uh, 17 uh, such organizations in Ukraine, uh, quite a number, uh, and uh, actually it used uh, to be even more. Uh, first problem with all this system, from our perspective, is uh, uh, there is some um, such thing in Ukraine uh, like uh, uh, minimum rates of remuneration uh, for right holders. Uh, actually, uh, such uh, thing used to be in uh, Soviet Union times, uh, and uh, it, it's in place right now in Ukraine. Um, uh, the most prob problem with this is uh, uh, that uh, um, it uh, not only uh, for collective uh, rights management, but it's a general problem. Uh, actually, uh, no contract uh, on distribution of uh, intellectual property rights uh, uh, in Ukraine can be uh, free of charge. Uh, so, so right holder uh, should be paid something anyway, uh, even if he doesn't want to get any money. Uh, so uh, free sharing is illegal. Uh, the next thing is uh, that uh, for some uh, uh, uses uh, of uh, their, uh, their works, uh, performers uh, actually cannot uh, get uh, their remuneration uh, directly. They are obliged uh, to do this uh, via collective man uh, management organizations. Uh, this, uh, uh, situ this situation is uh, uh, um, based on the wording of our law, uh, actually, uh, it uh, stipulates uh, some, uh, uh, some, some list uh, of uh, our uh, of rights uh, that uh, uh, performers uh, have, and uh, they, uh, there, there is no such rights uh, to control uh, public performance uh, of uh, uh, phonograms, uh, broadcast of uh, performances uh, fixed on phonograms, and uh, wire broadcast of performances uh, uh, in phonograms. So the only a way to obtain such permission is uh, to go to authorized uh, management society. Uh, actually, we think that this uh, p position is uh, questionable. It's uh, based on somewhat vague uh, wording of law, but uh, it's uh, at the time fully supported by courts, and uh, here it is. 
The second problem is uh, that uh, our law does not establish any uh, governing principles uh, uh, for collective management of rights. So it uh, uh, doesn't say uh, how this uh, collect collected remunerations uh, should be uh, distributed. Uh, so at the time we actually have uh, two main uh, models used by collective management uh, societies. It's uh, based on a report uh, from users uh, and uh, the second is based on um, playlists of uh, major uh, radio stations uh, and uh, many uh, these societies uh, tend uh, to use the second one. Uh, I think it's uh, uh, not very uh, good for uh, small artists because uh, they'll get uh, just zero in this uh, case. Uh, now Andre will continue. Uh, the next information uh, that uh, I want to share with you, oh sorry, uh, is information about the corruption. It is really uh, my pain and it is the pain of my native country and of course is uh, one of the, uh, it's maybe it's the biggest problem in uh, our collective rights management system. Uh, so. <coughs> on uh, the next side, slide, uh, I tried uh, to uh, describe you with this uh, terrible uh, corrupted uh, system. So uh, let's begin uh, from the downside. Now you can see the two collective management organization. It's private private company uh, Ukrainian League of Copyright and Related Rights and private company uh, organization of collective management of copyrights and related rights. Uh, These two organizations were founded in late of uh, 2010 by uh, four limited liability company, uh, and this uh, limited liability company were not uh, right holders. But uh, according to the legislation uh, of Ukraine, the collective uh, management organization can be founded only by uh, right holders. But uh, Dmitro Tabachnik, as you see, is a former Minister of Education and Science uh, of Ukraine, uh, got uh, the position and, and uh, that time, and uh, Alexei Yanov also uh, got uh, their position, so this fact uh, didn't become a problem for this organization. And you can ask uh, what is the relation between uh, this organization, Alexei Yanov, and other person on this slide. Uh, the originally founders of uh, these two organizations uh, includes uh, Natalia Nikina as a uh, co-founder. Uh, Natalia Nikina is uh, a close relative of uh, Alexander Nikin. Is, it is, uh, he is the uh, Alexei Yanov classmates by Zaporizhia University and uh, Yanov and Nikin together um, provided the legal services for uh, Mikhail Tabashnik, uh, the list of firms. Uh, and on the top of this system, uh, we can see the Mikhail Tabashnik is the brother of uh, former Minister uh, of Education and Science. This information uh, is confirmed by a list of uh, collective management organization chiefs and uh, independent journalists. And uh, he said that Mikhail Tabashnik uh, was on top on, and uh, his brother supports the Yanov's uh, action by ministry level. Uh, Alexander Nikin also known that in uh, autumn of uh, 2009, begin, being on uh, the position of active head of Kharkiv uh, uh, land cadaster uh, branch, uh, he was detained for taking bribe in the amount of uh, $5,000. Uh, 
<coughs> the Ukrainian League of Copyright and Related Rights forced uh, the list of collective management organization to sign a contracts. Uh, contracts uh, in the term of which this organization received a 30% 30 percent, uh, 30 percent commission from the collected uh, royalties. Uh, this organization. Uh, uh, take uh, mm, their commission. After that, uh, the collective management organization uh, withhold uh, own commission, and uh, only the remaining amount uh, was distributed uh, between the right holders. Also, uh, this organization didn't provide reports for collective management organization, and they uh, n had no no information to uh, distribution uh, of collected royalties. Also, uh, Ukrainian League of Copyright and Related Rights signed a contract with the state enterprise Ukrainian Agency of Copyright and Related Rights, which includes the provision that in case of liquidation of a party, uh, all contractual base uh, should be transferred uh, to another party. Um, and uh, in September uh, 2012, uh, State Service of Intellectual Property of Ukraine began the process of uh, elimination of this organization. But the change of uh, state power uh, in Ukraine uh, broke uh, these plans. Uh, last summer, State Intellectual Property Services introduced a draft and new law. Uh, of course, uh, this law is uh, not ideal, but uh, we hope that uh, this law uh, will a first step uh, to resolve uh, the, our problems. So, this law establishes the principle of collective management in Ukraine and um, it established criteria for appointing a collective management organization is uh, uh, also, uh, the Also, establish the responsibility of uh, CMO uh, to inform public on their financial activities. And uh, we requested uh, the information about financial activities of Ukrainian collective management organization from our uh, government authorities, but uh, we had no answer. Um, I don't think that uh, our government authorities uh, will uh, take steps to resolve, uh, resolve this problem, because uh, if you know, uh, the problem of collective right management organization is not problem number one in Ukraine today. But uh, what we hope and we believe, so thank you for your attention. Slava Ukraini.